Hello, my name is Jasper van Baten and together with Richard Bauer I was introduced to Cape Open 10 years ago back in 2004. And today Cape Open is a mature and well-developed software standard, but back then the first implementations were just emerging. So we built a Cape Open testing platform and with the generous help of the authors of CAMSAP, thermodynamics were added and it became a modest simulation platform. It was introduced as such on the Cape Open conference in Cannes in 2006 and it got quite quickly accepted as the de facto Cape Open interoperability standard uh, because it gave the Cape Open developers something uh, that wasn't available, which is one single application to test against. This is because Ke Coco was and is and will always be free of charge, so it's available to everybody without licensing. Um, Coco started leading two lives. It is uh, still the de facto Cape Open interoperability standard program, but it also is used around the world as a steady state uh, chemical engineering flow sheet application. So let's start at the beginning flow sheeting. This is uh, a picture of a chemical factory, and there's a lot of pipes and vessels, and the complexity arises from the fact that all these pipes and vessels are interconnected. Now, as you may know, mass and energy are conserved, so what goes into this factory must come out. And if we put, for example, crude oil into this factory, we would like the valuable diesel and gasoline to come out. But we also get waste products out. We want to, of course, operate the factory in such a way that we get a lot of diesel and gasoline out and not so many waste products. We can break down the factory into smaller pieces. If we look at one single piece of equipment, this is called a unit operation and the mass and energy balance around the unit operation are also conserved. Um, what the accumulation of mass and energy in such a unit operation equals what goes in minus what comes out. And if the factory is operating steadily, eventually it will operate in steady state, which means accumulation will become zero and the complexity is reduced to what goes in must come out. Now for a single unit operation, this might be simply simple to solve. But typically, in a chemical process, we deal with recycles, and this is where flow sheet simulations come in. We couple all the unit operations and streams in a flow sheet, and the flow sheet gives us a mathematical description of our actual factory. The mathematical model allows us to design and optimize the process, and it allows us to do if-then studies, and it allows us to get a better overall understanding of the process. Given the feeds, we want, to come, we want to find the solution in steady state of each of the unit operations. And doing so doesn't only give us the mass and energy balance around each unit operation, but it gives us the mass and energy balance of the entire factory. Clearly, what lives in the material stream is not only a mass and energy flow rate, but it's also a composition and operating conditions like temperature and pressure. And underlying that are compound definitions, which compounds are they? Phase definitions, for example, vapor and liquid, and thermodynamic property routines to calculate properties of the phases and to calculate the phase equilibria. It stands to reason that if we want to perform uh, an energy balance around a unit operation, that all the streams around that unit operation must have the same definition of entropy. Otherwise, we would be comparing apples and pears in the entropy balance. But remember that the entropy balance itself is actually performed by the unit operation. So what we need in the flow sheet is one single definition of thermodynamics that is accessible to all the streams and all the unit operations in the flow sheet. So this is what flow sheet simulations typically offer. They allow you to solve a flow sheet given a number of built-in thermodynamics, mo thermodynamics models and a number of built-in unit operations. Clearly, of course, this is not enough because we can not represent all the possible reactor models and separator models and unit operation models with a fixed number of built-in unit operations. Also, you might be in need of specialty thermodynamics for the process that you're simulating, or you may find that thermodynamics of some software vendor work better than the thermodynamics that come with your simulation software vendor, or you may use multiple simulation applications, and it's imperative that they both result uh, thermodynamic consistent simulation results. So what we want to do is we want to um, set up a modular kind of simulation where we can uh, add third-party unit operations and thermodynamics into your flow sheet. And as this requirement is so obvious, it's actually supported by all simulation environment, environments. And typically this, uh, this 
uh, is done by writing some C or Fortran code, which you tell the simulation application where it is and how to run it. And that way you can run your own custom model in your simulation. But this is, of course, not very flexible. The C or Fortran code that you have written is specific to both the model and the simulation application at hand. So if you want to do this for another simulation application, you have to again go back and rewrite your C or Fortran and do it again. So it's virtually impossible to uh, run any third-party model in any simulation application. What would be better is if there would be one universal interface that would allow for exchanging thermodynamics and unit operation models throughout simulation environments. Fortunately, uh, such an interface exists. It's called Cape Open. Cape Open is maintained uh, by the Cape Open organization CLN, and it's an industrial, freely available, open standard available from the CLN website. So now let's go to COCO. COCO is a little bit different than other simulation applications because COCO assumes from the start that you want to mix and match. So the simulation application, the Cape Open flow sheeting environment, Coffee, does not come with any built-in unit operations or thermodynamic models. The thermodynamics are served by a separate application. It's called T, Thermodynamics for Engineering Applications. T comes with over 100 property calculation routines and the standard component library contains more than 400 components, but can easily be extended. The unit operations are provided by Couscous and the reactions are served by CORN, which stands for Cape Open Reaction Numerics. And of course, because all of it is coupled via Cape Open, we have the possibility to mix and match. We can exchange components. For example, the unit operations that come with Couscous are presented on this slide, which arguably is quite a few, but clearly it's not complete. There's always the need to make more unit operations. So via Cape Open, we have access to the CAMSAP unit operation. The authors of CAMSAP contributed tremendously to the development of COCO. Uh, the CAMSAP unit operation is still the main separation device. It provides the separation and the adsorption columns, but also the thermodynamics in COCO are still largely based on the CAMSAP simulation, uh, CAMSAP thermodynamics, and uh, thermodynamic data is still that of CAMSAPs as well. Uh, in addition, we have the Excel unit operation, which allows you to put your unit operation model equations in Excel and use the Excel solver to solve your equations. Similarly, we have a MATLAB unit operation. This allows you to use MATLAB script to put down your equations for your unit operation. And MATLAB, of course, comes with a whole suite of solvers that you can use to solve your equations. Uh, just like MATLAB, we have Scilab, which is similar to MATLAB, except Scilab is open source and free of charge. Then there is the flow exchange unit operation, which is an open source unit operation that allows you to uh, export stream information to XML, to XML file and it allows you to uh, import XML to stream information again. It was designed so that, you can, so that you can exchange stream information between simulators, but because you can exchange stream information with XML, it also allows you to use uh, exchange of flow information with any application that can read and write XML. And of course, if you want, you can write your own unit operation. If you're willing to do a bit of coding and you implement the Cape Open interfaces, there are a number of open source examples out there that you can use. You can just write whatever you want in, for example, C, C Sharp, PB.net, whatever you want. You can even take an entire flow sheet uh, simulation in Coco, in Coffee, and use that as a unit operation inside another simulation. The feeds of such a flow sheet would automatically become the feeds of a unit operation, and similarly for the product. And you can use the thermodynamics that are consistent with the flow sheet that it is embedded in. Uh, there's also, of course, a choice of third-party unit operations, and all of these arguments hold for thermodynamics as well you're not stuck to using the T thermodynamics. You can use your own thermodynamics or you can use third-party thermodynamics. So this uh, tells you perhaps something about the flexibility of the components that you can use in COCO, but also the features and the user, friendliness, the user friendliness in COCO deserve some attention. If we look at the main window, we see in the top buttons to easily insert unit operations and streams. On the side, we see a document explorer, which shows you what the op open document is and what the views on that document are. 
on the bottom we see a watch window and in this watch window you can gather all the variables in the flow sheet that you are interested in and you can input the values there and you can inspect the values there. In the bottom we see a log window. The log window keeps track of what happened uh, with the flow sheet during its lifetime. And if there are problems in the flow sheet, then there is a step-by-step -step error window which will tell you this and this needs to be solved before you can actually solve your flow sheet. If you click a stream, you will get into the stream window and you can use this on one stream or on multiple streams. And the stream window serves two purposes. It serves to input stream data and it serves to inspect stream data after you're done simulating. Uh, if you double click on the unit operation, obviously you get the unit operation dialog. At first you will see what, co what coffee sees of the unit operation, but as the unit operation is not actually part of coffee, this is a limited view, and the unit operation will probably implement its own dialog to configure the unit operation. And this dialog is available at the click of the button. The flexible and uh, easy to use unit conversion system will allow you to convert everything to the units that you're used to just, to, just by clicking on the unit of measure. In the flow sheet itself, you can use custom coloring of the unit operation. You can use stream tables, unit operation tables, and other kinds of tables. You can use graphs of which the data updates automatically. You can use text, and you can use drawing objects and hyperlinks to clear things up. And you can use OLE objects that you create from a file or that you paste from another application. And I hope that this short introduction has given you a bit of a taste of what Coco can do. If you want to read more about what Coco can do, you can read its online help, which comes with the application, but which is also available on the Coco website. And the online help shows you not only what Coco can do, but it will also give detailed information about all of the models and the mathematics used in it. This is not your only resource for help. There's also uh, the Coco section of the Cape Open forum. Here, many, Cape Op many Coco users will ask questions and get answers to it. On the COCO website itself, we have a support section and we host many examples. Uh, it also has a mailing list where you can subscribe to to, get up, to stay up to date with respect to the latest releases. Uh, we invite you for downloading COCO. It's free of charge. If you have uh, questions regarding COCO or if you have any doubts, please don't uh, hesitate to contact us. Uh, please participate in COCO by writing your own Cape Open based models. If, so, if you do so, we might be able and willing to ship them with the program. And we are looking forward to seeing you on the Cape Open Forum. Thank you for your attention.